Bad Villain are the most talented fifth-gen girl group to debut so far, Emma Chloe and Ina being in the top four best dancers of the females in this generation, Emma being one of the best in the industry already, Kelly beating half of the main dancers when she's only lead, them having the second best rappers in the fifth gen and Yuncio and Ina being in the top five and top six, Emma being in the top ten, having the best rap line after Young Posse. Their vocal line are also really good in terms of the 5th gen standard. As a group their top 4 after Elsyup, Kiss of Life and Baby Monster. Having insane performers and having some of the top performers of this generation. As much as I dislike their music besides Hurricane and Bad Villain they're insanely talented and need more recognition. Also I want to say, Emma definitely the best but put some respect on Chloe's name. Also their writing credits the fact that more than half of them have credits is insane. Sakura in Abby Lee's words needs to save her tears for her pillow. No amount of self-pity is going to make her a better vocalist. Crying is not going to make her better. She keeps crying instead of doing her best to improve and shut the haters up. She knew she lacked and should have done something about it. She cried and cried instead of fixing the problem. She wants us to feel bad for her and not speak about it because oh no she's crying. Womp womp. I'm not going to cry over a bad grade when I didn't study. I've is not Susie and friends, oh sorry I mean miss a joke. Anyways I've were popular because of the girls and I've are are known as I've and not one young and friends and they aren't maintaining their popularity because of one young but all of them and their music. Yujin is popular especially in South Korea in fact I'm pretty sure she's more popular than one young in Korea. All the girls gain the opportunity to showcase their charm and that's why people are so interested not to mention their songs. Starship is not pushing Wan Young alone. Not to mention Wan Young is not only one going to variety shows and promotions. I've promotes I've where Susie was the only one allowed to do anything. Wake One needs to let Eugen take a break. Eugen tore his muscles months ago, and they didn't let it heal properly. He wasn't feeling well and they still made him run at Isaac. It's very concerning to see him in pain, hiding, and waiting to go home especially knowing how young he is. What's even more concerning is the videos of his hands shaking and how needing to comfort him. None of that is worth him getting hurt. And Team's Yuma was just there to be a cheerleader they could have easily let Eugene just sit there doing nothing. At the end of the day that alone is slowly ruining his career as an idol. Tearing a muscle has a lasting effect even if it's healed they should make sure that he has the necessary rest. Wake one need to take the necessary precautions to ensure he doesn't get permanently hurt. Min Hee Jin is so fucking stupid. She said Supernatural was their Japanese debut then gets called out for the lack of Japanese and she replies with music shouldn't be put in a genre or something stupid I can't remember it somewhere along those lines. Lady what do you mean you literally did it yourself by calling it a Japanese debut. It's either she thinks she's gaslighting me or she's just plain dumb. Because she's the one that put it into a box now she's saying we shouldn't like where are your brain cells. New Jean's parents are money-hungry hypocrites. If their living conditions were so terrible why didn't you make your child leave? It's funny how they were silent with the cookie debate didn't even show concern when their children were singing inappropriate lyrics but lord forbid Hybe and Source call out Min Hee Jin. The way they said nothing about Min Hee Jin literally calling their kids ugly and fat. It's crazy how they're so quick to back a literal pedo it's clear they just want the money and Min Hee Jin is behind their paychecks. I don't blame anyone hating on their parents because I'm doing the same. Jimin and Mai are going to be one of the most hated K-pop idols in 5th general Jimin is suffering from the popularity curse where because she's popular and beloved, brain rots are going to hate on her because of her popularity let's not forget she's pretty. I've seen too much videos of people discrediting her talent. Yes she's overhyped but you discrediting her skills is too much. Also now that is. Basically official that she's the center Yungun stands are being unnecessary hateful. And Mai for the fact that she's a visual and she got picked over Fuko which isn't that deep Mai might not be the most talented but she's more talented between them two. Fuko didn't get robbed she just doesn't stand out and that's unfortunate. I'm tired of you guys acting as if Jimin can rap. Girl where? As a Jimin stand stop embarrassing her. She had one rap which was barely a rap and now you're giving her a rap position and rap parts in AI covers. Miss Girl rapped once. Let's leave the rapping to Yungun Sarung and Coco and not Jimin. She's a dancer she's a I guess lead vocalist in her group leave it at that instead of forcing a rap position on her. 
A Hyian was overperforming and now she's doing nothing. People are claiming the hate is affecting her but she's just acting like a spoiled child who didn't get what she wants. I saw people complaining I decided to do an analysis and people are right. She was doing too much. She was not matching the mood of the song. Her facial expressions especially in Forever are forced and don't match the song. At all. In Sheesh it was fine because Sheesh is a hard-hitting intense song, but even in Sheesh some parts needs her to be less intense and she doesn't release the intensity. When performing live she was yelling and trying to out-preform Ruka. Ruka projects her voice but a high in projects it louder. She doesn't match Ruka but she goes louder than her and overpower her. She ruins the group chemistry. By trying to stand out as if she's a soloist. Everglow Up explains it better. A Hyian ruins the harmony of the group and her rap duo with Ruka. Compare Forever's rap duo with Sheesh. They don't bounce off each other or more like a Hyian doesn't match Ruka and she tries to outdo her. People are saying they should do more to match her and that is dumb. Everyone is giving a 100 while she's giving 1000. She's being unprofessional and decided to just give us nothing. You don't have to be a fan to admit it. As a fan of her I'm disappointed by this. She should learn to be less intense and adapt instead of being unprofessional. Although I don't think she's doing it on purpose.